Hey, Gangsta Boss, it is Lindsay with Lot 801 Marketing. And today I am going to show you how to quickly design a newsletter for your business. So I actually do have a background in design. I have a minor in graphic design and I know Illustrator and Photoshop really quite well. But I find myself that I'm using Canva most of the time to use and design a quick newsletter or a quick Pinterest uh, image. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. If you're not already familiar with Canva, it is absolutely free and it's canva.com. When you click there, you're gonna be prompted to an area like this. And what we're gonna do first is go up here to use custom dimensions. And today I am going to use, let's do 800 by 700 pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and click design and it's going to bring up a screen like this. What you wanna do next is click on uploads and I already have a bunch of images uploaded here um, just from free previous things that I've been working on. But if not, you can go ahead and click upload your own image or it's super easy for you to just pull up an image you already have on your screen. Just drag, if I have something like this, you can drag and drop it right there and it goes right in there, super easy. Okay, but today I'm going to be using this image right here as my example. And as you can see, it's super easy to move around. I'm gonna change up the dimensions a bit. There we go. And then I want some text over here in the corner. So what you do now is you're gonna go over here and click on the text button. And I'm gonna click on add subheading. And what I'm gonna put there is, um, let's see. Kids got oomph. There we go. Actually, I'm just do one. And I want to change the text. Super easy. Click over here, and I'm going to use siphon today. I'm going to change it to white rather than black. I'm going to move it over here. Uh, I'm going to want it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to do it to. 30, let's do 35 today. Now, if you can see right here, there's still a bit of extra space in between the first and second um, line, and I wanna decrease that space. So what I'm gonna do is click on this arrow here, scroll down to text spacing, and on the line height, I'm going to change that up a bit just so it feels a little more snug. Let's let's keep it there. Okay, kids got um. Let's keep that there. I'm gonna add some more text, so I'm gonna click on add a little bit of body text. And here I am going to add, hmm, what should we add? Let me see what I added, sorry. I forget, I wanna look at my example really quick that I had. Okay, taking it back old school and it never looked so good. Perfect. Okay. Okay, taking it back old school. Dot, dot, dot. And it never looked so good. Quick smiley face. Okay, I'm gonna quickly change the text for this as well. I want this to be white, and I'm gonna change it to Lotto, and I believe, let's see how the regular looks. Mm, should we do heavy, Lotto heavy? And once you use this more and more, you will find which text you love, which ones you don't love. Let's see. Just changing it around a bit to make it look how I want it to look and feel. I don't want the text to be too big, too small. Let's see. Hmm, do we like that? Sure, let's keep it. Okay, so if you can tell, when I move this around, it gives me guides. So you'll see some blue, purple marks um, come up. And I want it to be centered right underneath Kids Got Umph. So if you can see right there, can you see that where that purple mark is and it shows me directly 
um, what is the perfect centerpiece. And I'm gonna leave it right there. So now I wanna add a little button underneath that says get the look. So I'm gonna click on elements right here and I'm gonna go over to shapes and I'm gonna click this very first square box right here and I'm gonna change it to white. I'm gonna move it tinier and again, I'm gonna center that. And then I need to add some text over that that says get the look. I'm gonna change this to siphon today. Obviously I'm gonna make it smaller so it's gonna fit right over the box. And in case you didn't see that, you change the size of the text right here. Super easy, or you can just go ahead and type it in yourself. So I still see that it's not directly centered, so I'm gonna click the background box and kinda of just eyeball it here. Let's see, that looks about good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm, I wanna drag both of those and keep them together, so I'm gonna just drag over that area and as you can see it also included my image and I don't want it to so what you're going to do is click shift and then hit the image and it takes away the image so I want this to be directly there you go right there you can see that purple center line which is what I want now I want this area this text and this box to be moved a little bit again it grabbed my image so I'm going to click shift and hit my image and scroll down just a little bit to give it a little bit more space. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more text underneath here. I'm gonna hit add heading and I'm gonna type in the playgrounds, just for fun, just making up some stuff. I'm gonna scroll back down and I'm gonna go back to siphon. When you're creating a newsletter, you don't really wanna use a different font for every single line of text. I'd say two or three is the perfect amount of mixture there okay the playgrounds and again it shows me right where that middle piece is with that purple dotted line so i'm going to do the playgrounds add subheading best dressed this summer and i'm going to use the same text i'm going to go back actually let me show you a quick easy way to do this click on this area the one that you already have the text you're going to hit this little down arrow right here and if you scroll down, you can hit copy. So it copies it perfectly for you. So it's the same color, same text. We just have to make a small adjustment with the size. Okay, the best, uh, best dress this summer. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this area and I'm gonna make that smaller. I'm not quite sure how small I want it yet. So I'm just gonna play around for a bit. Let's see, let's go down to 25 for now. Um, and then you're just gonna move this underneath. Again, it shows me that purple line, which is exactly what I want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned with everything else. Let's make this a bit bigger. Let's do 45. Mm, let's even do like 47. I'm kind of picky when it comes to this. I wish I could just do it and be done with. But there you go. Now we got the playground's best dress this summer. Now it still looks a little bit plain to me. So what I'm gonna do is um, add a bit of lines to the side. So what we do is we're gonna click on elements right here and we're going, going to click on lines and let's scroll to this very top one right here. Obviously this is super thick. I don't want it that thick. So what I'm gonna do is grab this corner right here, make it super small and then I'm gonna scroll my piece over until I get that horizontal line right there, okay? And that's gonna allow me to bring it out without making it thicker. It's just making it longer. And then I'm gonna scroll and move it over here. I'm gonna hit this copy so I have another one. And I'm gonna drag it over. So again, you can see the three purple lines that's showing me that it is, a, is aligned with the other line, which is what you want. You don't want them off center. So there we go. Obviously you can see this one is a little bit farther out. I'm gonna move it in a little bit, but I'm also gonna move this one out a little bit. And this one I'm just gonna to have to eyeball for now. Okay, all right, that's it. So up here you're gonna change this. This is the name of the document. So the design title here is I'm gonna say, I don't know, May 15th, Law 801 newsletter. This kind of just is my own saving process, but you can absolutely 
save the titles however you like them and I'm going to click done. And when you're done with that, you're going to hit download and you can have a few different options. So you have image for web, image which is for high quality, which is something that you might do um, like print or something very big, PDF and a PDF for print. So this is something that if you were going to get, you know, a few postcards made um, or printed off and you're going to be sending them out, if it's printed, you're going to want to use the PDF. But when I'm doing a newsletter for email, I'm always just clicking on this image for web and it just downloads it, downloads it as a JPEG, which is super easy. So once that line is completely up and it's completely loaded, all you have to do is pull it off of your download, insert it into your email system that you have. I currently use MailChimp, but whatever you use is fine with you. And then what you want to do is to make sure that once you do upload this image into your newsletter or your, your mail system, for instance, mine is MailChimp, when you insert this image into it, you have the option to add a link to this image, which is what you want to do. So you want to add the link to have it go to this look. So for instance, Right here, I'm trying to sell my new jogger leggings. So what I'm gonna do is have this image go directly to the page of where my suspender pants are. So when you click on this image, it goes straight to it. And that's about it for our quick newsletter uh, design. You do not have to have any design skills and you can do it completely for free with Canva. So if you have any questions, just make sure you comment below this blog post and I'm happy to share them with you. And I'm happy to do this more often. If you'd like to see another Canva tutorial on something else, then please just let me know. All right, thank you. Have a great week.